All right, but coming off a loss to the Ravens, not a bad game either. We were in it till the very end. Now we're playing against a Carolina team, and this is the game we should win. We need to win these games. If we're going to be a good team, we need to win the games against the bad teams and prove that we're not the same old Washington team that can lose virtually any game. But I had to keep reminding myself, we're not that team. And we'll let Miles Sanders run down the left side? Okay, so the defense from the Ravens is still here. Got it. Cool. It's fine. Love for the defense to step up because they are actually driving down the field. Wait, Dante Fowler picks it. Misses the tackle. End zone. Pick six, baby. Big guy pick six, too. Not like a little defensive back. We got a defensive end running the pick six. Andy Dalton just needs to not play in games against us where he's the backup that's now starting. Because last time we did that, Montez Sweat tipped his pass, picked it off, and ran it back for a touchdown while stiff arming Andy Dalton to the ground. It seemed like history repeats itself. So I feel like Andy Dalton just says whenever he needs to play Washington, please, can I not? Put Bryce in. I think he deserves another shot. Okay, I'm sorry for any bad things I said about the defense. Granted, it is Carolina, but y'all still stepped up. You still stepped up. You look good. But now we finally get to see Jaden Daniels. And Jaden breaks it to the right side. 47-yard run for Jaden Daniels. And he got kind of crunched up there at the end. Honestly, if he didn't cut in and he stayed to the outside, that might have been a touchdown. So clearly the message is run the ball because we have ran it like a thousand times on the first drive and not one pass yet. And Jaden went down on that first down run. Usually Jaden would get a defender a little shake and bake, but he just kind of went down. But we're finally passing it. Ooh. And Austin Eckler got crunched. But it's all right because we got automatic Austin to kick the field goal. And it's good. 10-0. This is just a slow build. I hope we absolutely just demolish Carolina today. Plus, I've been saying to everyone all week, we're going to demolish Carolina, so I'd like to not be wrong. And Emmanuel Forbes picks it? Maybe this is the confidence boost he needs. But I can't help feel slightly empty inside because now Marcus Mariota's in and Jane Daniels is out. Marcus Mariota can't hit the broadside side of a barn with his passes. Please say he's okay. Please say he's okay. Why? Why? And Frankie Louvu with the sack. You know, it's a homecoming game for him, but let's not forget Jeremy Chin, too. But it's all right when you got Marcus Mariota because you got the three-headed monster of B-Rob, Elson Eckler, and Jeremy McNichols. Touchdown, B-Rob, baby. Let's go. It's like the end zone just has B-Rob's name just written all over it because when he's in a game, he's going to get in. And if Marcus Mariota's sole job is just hand the ball off, I'm okay with it. You know, at this point, you know, even if Jaden is fine, why? Why put him back in? Why? Just let them let him stay out. Can we get this straight? Their offense hasn't been good all game, but on fourth and one on their own 40-yard line, they're going to go for it. And Dante Fowler again, baby. Dante Fowler again. You know, we lost John Allen this week, which is a big loss, but the D-line is looking really good. Now, granted, this is against a banged-up Carolina line. It's the exact kind of game you need after that close loss to the Ravens last week. They knocked you down, but we were in it till the very end. And this is just a good confidence boost for the whole team to get back right, where you can learn all the fundamentals. And if Jaden is going to be out, this is great for Marcus Mariota to get you know experience with the guys before we go against a pretty hot Chicago team next week. And automatic Austin with another field goal, 20-0. to zero. Marcus Mariota still can't complete a pass. But everything else is good. All right, we're actually going to, we're actually going to do a two-minute drive. I love the fact that we're up 20-0 with two minutes left to go, and we're still going to do a two-minute drive. And Marcus hits Terry. Marcus dances around the pocket and hits Terry again. And De'Ami Brown getting a little action into the red zone. Marcus Mariota runs to the outside and hits Zach Gertz for the touchdown. That's Zach Gertz' first commander touchdown, isn't it? Like, he got the two-point, but that's his first touchdown. Cliff Kingsbury is in his bag, and Marcus Mariota is finding the rhythm, and he's kind of looking like the Marcus Mariota of old. I still think it's just hilarious that we went for a two-minute drive and we're up 20 to zero. Yeah, the Panthers need it going into the halftime. That might be the only time they get the lineup in victory formation at all. All right, now we get a ball to start the second half. And Jaden's back on the sideline looking happy, looking, looking like he could probably still go back out. But, like, why would you put him back out there when you're up so much? We got a big game next week against Chicago. Marcus fakes it to B-Rob. And touchdown, Ben Sinat. Ben Sinat with his first touchdown. I think he's going to be a big part of this offense going forward, especially in years to come. And him getting his first catch of the, of his career, also being his first touchdown, that is freaking awesome. Like, I think we're going to have Jaden back next week, but it's nice to know we have a competent backup quarterback. And if it weren't for that penalty on Zach Ertz, we might have scored another touchdown. Gosh. But, hey, another automatic Austin field goal, 37-0. I used to pray for days like these. Thank you for answering my prayers.
And now it looks like we're kind of going into like a lackadaisical defensive scheme. And now Carolina's driving, which is a shame. Not that it means anything. That, that goose egg on Carolina's scoreboard just looks so good. Like, why? why? Andrew Hubbard runs it in for a touchdown. Okay. I don't have to care that they scored a touchdown. Because we're up by so much. When has this ever happened? Marcus dancing around the pocket again and hits Terry on a scramble throw? Okay, that rollout run to to with with Mariota, like you had Austin Eckler that could have ran it or Mick Nichols that could have ran it. Like I get Mariota's having fun and he's probably feeling young again with this team and he wants to do it, but like the small chance that Jaden can't go next week, we let's not put our other quarterback in danger. And we win 40 to 7, absolutely barnstorming Carolina, which I said all week was gonna happen, so thank goodness I'm not wrong. And we win. Jaden looks like he's gonna be fine. Whew. I used to pray for games like these, and now we've had two 40-point games already. Five and two on the season. Now we're going to go face a red-hot Chicago team, which is going to be really cool because it's going to be face-off between what is what should be Jane Daniels versus Caleb Williams. I cannot wait. This team is amazing. This team is red-hot. Never have I ever seen a team like this. Cliff Kingsbury was in his bag. And it's nice to know we have a com competent backup quarterback. And hopefully this game is good for the defense to understand the right direction to go in going forward. But let's get it. Let's go. And it's great that this came on Darrell Green's for Jersey Retirement Day with all the alumni there too for homecoming week. <sighs> Everything's looking good in Washington. Let's keep this going. Left hands up. Who are we? The Commanders. Let's go, baby. I'm